Hello everyone. You are once more welcome to this channel. Today we have another interesting question. We are given that 3 raised to the power x plus x is equal to 85. And we need to find the value of x that satisfies this equation. This is a special type of an exponential equation. And we are going to follow a step-by-step -step approach till we get the final answer. So please, make sure you watch the video to the end. Before I start solving this question, I'm going to introduce to you a function called the Lambert W function. The Lambert W function is actually the inverse of the function f, where f of x is equal to x e to the x. But when you look at the graph of this function, you can clearly see that this function is not injective as you can find a value of x before negative 1 and after negative 1 having the same image. And since this function is not injective, it cannot be bijective and so it is not invertible. But if we redefine the domain of this function to be df, which is the interval from negative 1 to positive infinity, then the resulting function will be bijective. That is, the resulting function excludes this portion for which x is less than negative 1. So clearly, this remaining function is bijective. And so we can define the inverse of this function. So the Lambert W function denoted W of x is equal to f inverse of x where f of x is equal to x e to the x, where x is greater than or equal to negative 1. And since f is bijective, f inverse of f of x is equal to x. That is, w of x e to the x is equal to x. This is a very important property of the Lambert W function, which we are going to apply in solving our equation. So you have to take note of this. This property can be applied in so many ways. If we have W of A, E to the A, this answer will just be A. And so W of 2, E to the power 2, is just equal to 2. We can also apply it to other linear functions. If g is a linear function, then w of g of x multiplied by e raised to the power g of x is just equal to g of x. Now let's get back to our question. We are given that 3 raised to the power x plus x is equal to 85. And this implies that 3 raised to the power x is equal to 85 minus x. But remember, we need to rearrange this function in the form g of x e to the g of x. And so if we multiply both sides by 3 raised to the power negative x, we are going to have 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 3 raised to the power negative x, which is equal to 85 minus x, multiplied by 3 raised to the power negative x. And so this implies that 85 minus x multiplied by 3 raised to the power negative x is equal to 1. Since 3 raised to the power x times 3 raised to the power negative x is equal to 3 raised to the power x minus x, which is 3 raised to the power 0, and this is equal to 1. Again, if we multiply both sides by 3 raised to the power 85, we are going to have 85 minus x, multiplied by 3 raised to the power negative x, and multiplied by 3 raised to the power 85, 
must be equal to 3 raised to the power 85. So this implies that 85 minus x multiplied by 3 raised to the power 85 minus x is equal to 3 raised to the power 85. Now our problem here is 3. And we need to change this to e. But recall that a raised to the power b is equal to e raised to the power the lean of a raised to the power b, which is equal to e raised to the power b lean a. And so we can write this in the form 85 minus x multiplied by e raised to the power 85 minus x times lean 3, which is equal to 3 raised to the power 85. Here we have 85 minus x, but here we have 85 minus x times lean 3. So we need to multiply both sides by lean 3. So this implies that 85 minus x multiplied by lean 3, and all this multiplied by e to the power 85 minus x times lean 3, is equal to 3 raised to the power 85 multiplied by lean 3. Now we can see that the left hand side is in the form g of x multiplied by e raised to the power g of x. And so we also need to express the right hand side in this form. So this is equal to 3 raised to the power 4 times 3 raised to the power 81 times the lean of 3. And again, 3 raised to the power 81 is equal to e raised to the power 81 multiplied by lean 3. So this is equal to 3 raised to the power 4 multiplied by e raised to the power 81 lean 3 multiplied by lean 3. We know 3 raised to the power 4 is 81. So this is equal to 81 times lean 3 multiplied by e raised to the power 81 times lean 3. Now, if we take W on both sides, we are going to have W of 85 minus X multiplied by lean 3 and all this multiplied by e to the power 85 minus X times lean 3 which is equal to W of 81 multiplied by lean 3 and all this multiplied by e to the power 81 lean 3 and from the property above this implies that 85 minus x multiplied by lean 3 is equal to 81 multiplied by lean 3. Again, recall that W of A, E to the A, is just equal to A. And if we divide both sides by lean 3, we are going to have 85 minus X, which is equal to 81. And this implies that X is equal to 85 minus 81. And so, X is equal to 4. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do well to give me a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos. See you in the next video.